Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Hub and I'm Penge and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn where of course we now have a pet dog which is all sorts of wonderful and there they are, there is our new pet Munro just having a little look around the base trying to get used to it and figure out where things are in their new home and they do have a bed over here, they've got a little bed out in the corridor not much to look at but I suppose it's better than sleeping outside in the rain so they have a little bed over there however quite a lot of people in the comments pointed out that we do need to get a food trough down for them otherwise they can't eat and that's going to end up very badly indeed and I think as well if we look just here they are a little bit hungry not you know entirely ravenous just yet Munro but they're a little bit peckish so I think we should get the food trough down as soon as possible because otherwise I will forget and then bad things will happen and I think I think the food trough is in here. I think it's in ranching. There we go, an animal feeder. So a feeding rat for domesticated animals. The raw food inside decays according to the environmental conditions, but animals do not mind eating almost rotten food. Mmm, delicious. So we can make it out of either wood, stone, or metal. What are the advantages? Capacity three, capacity three, capacity three. The metal one just lasts a little bit longer. It's got a bit more integrity to it. Um, the wooden one, I don't really feel like we should use a wooden one. A metal one makes sense to me. It makes sense. A wooden one, the food's going to kind of go a bit rotten in the bottom of that, and then it's going to soak into the wood, and then it's going to be all kind of weird and mouldy in the wood. I don't like the sound of that. The stone one would be okay, but I think a metal one makes sense. So let's get one of those. It does cost us 10 alloys. But I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. We have 25 alloys and we are going to go and make some more. We've got a bit of a plan to try and get some more of those. So um, here we go. Let's get a metal animal feeder. And I think, given that this is our little kind of lounge eating area, it should go in here somewhere. Maybe we could put it here. Look, so grab that. And I don't think there's kind of like a front or back to it. So pop that there, look and get time ticking on. Nova's going to pop out on an expedition, of course, because we told her to do that at the end of the previous part. So she flies off in the balloon. And I think, hang on, hang on, have they put the things down for that already? I think they've already put the stuff down. So somebody has to come and whack it with a hammer. Okay, it's built. So we now have the animal feeder. We need some food in there now. So allowed slots, three. Okay, can we add more? No, we can take slots away, but okay. So three storage slots. How does this work exactly? So animal food carnivore, animal food herbivore, or slop. Okay, happiness effect minus 12. I don't think we should put slop in there. We want to look after our lovely new pet. We want to make sure you're happy, Munro. I don't want you eating slop. Um, carnivore or herbivore? Are you, how do we find out what you are? You are, ah, carnivore. Okay, right. So I think then, I think, hang on, hang on. We are going to also try to tame the Great Dane over here. So that's you just there. You're also a carnivore. Okay, that's quite convenient for us. So I think over here, we go to there and we don't put herbivore food in there. We just have carnivore food. So palm meat, raw red meat, insect meat, dried meat, animal fat. They just eat fat directly, do they? Okie doke, right. That seems pretty good to me. I mean, palm meat, we should be okay to do that. Um, so I think all of that, just put whatever in there. As long as there's some food in there, I am happy with that. So tick time on. Let's see if anybody actually does put some food in here. Because yeah, that is going to be important. How hungry are you now? Hang on, can we see your hunger? Is there a hunger meter of some kind? You're still just on minus 10 happiness. Ah, right, now you're starving. Okay. Okay, somebody has to go and fill this up quite immediately. Who would like to go and help the dog? Okay, Talas, you're going to go and help Munro out a little bit. You're currently pitying Ember for their old clothes. Are you wearing fancy new clothes? Oh, you are. You're showing off about how new your clothes are. That's not really a thing to brag about. I mean, they're only made over here. It's not like you got them from some sort of designer outlet or whatever. I mean, you're wearing a hat made of straw that we found over here, look. So, okay, maybe don't show off too much about that. Um, Talas, come here, please, my good sir. Right, click that. Bring food to that thing. Pretty much immediately, because we have a starving dog and that's a bit sad. Right, we've put meat in there. I think, is that the dried meat as well? I think that's the dried meat. Okay, that's quite good. And now we've got Munro eating and then we'll put some more stuff in as well that's insect meat I think that's okay in fact for now thinking about it just have two slots just have two because we only have the one dog and if we fill it up that's eventually going to go off isn't it and we're going to be wasting food um yeah that's okay don't worry about that so hang on a minute hang on though hang on 
put those away though, would you? Haul them away into a decent place. <laughs> Don't just leave all the definitely not meat bananas on the floor. That would be silly. Right, there we go. Wonderful. Okie dokie. And now you're over here eating. Are you happy? Have a quick check. Yes, you are. You are not starving anymore. That is brilliant. Okay, Annette is bringing a huge amount of lovely buttermelons or whatever they're called. That's all good. Are they called buttermelons? Yes, they are. So in terms of food, we've got a load of definitely not meat bananas. We've got quite a lot of pickled vegetables and we have a decent amount of buttermelons. So we should be able to make some more food with that. And there is something over here that we need to look at. Uh, when we ran out of food last time, we kind of ran out. What have we got now? Two lots of stew and two meat stew. That's not so bad. We did run out of food last time and I was wondering why. And lots of people said it's because you put a gigantic sort of tea order at the very top of the list. So everybody spent their time making tea instead of making food. I think now it's sorted out though. I think now that's been sorted out. Look, so we've got 24 lovely relaxing tea and 20 stimulating tea. And then everything else down here is just okay. So at the moment they're making sweet meat bites, veggie stew, meat stew, not got enough resources for the buttermelon pie. I assume that's the grain. We haven't got any grain. Okay, that's fine. But we can make sweet meat bites and veggie soup and meat soup. They'll get round to that eventually. So we're okay for food. If they get round to it, I think we're going to be fine for food. Yoko is going to make some sweet meat bites. I think that's pretty good. Munro might be in the way. Do you need Munro to move? Would you need Munro to move out the way? Because they're currently in the way a little bit there. Shifty out the way, Munro, would you please? There we go. Malfunctioned wind turbine. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's kind of got stuff coming out of it. Okay. Can somebody go and fix that? Oh, Annette is training Munro. Oh, this could be quite good. I love the way Annette does sort of just you know, take her... Take a jolly time about the things. Everyone else is kind of rushing about, doing important things, dashing over here, dashing over there, trying to make things all organised and move stuff. And Annette just kind of swans about a little bit, just kind of, yeah, going over here, look. Just going to have a, a bit of a trip over here. Going to take my time. Life is good. Yeah, look, we're training Munro. So how does this work? Can we see? Ah, here we go. Training level. Training experience. So what happens is Annette cheered up Talas. That's good. Annette, that's one of your jobs. Morale officer around the camp. That's very good. Uh, oh, we need to get some research on the go. That's fine. We'll do that in a second. I want to watch this first. So I think in a minute we're going to get Monroe up to level one. Monroe has leveled up, everybody. We've got a level one dog. Quarreled with Annette about hunting techniques. Not in front of the you know, resident animal, please. That would be bad. Aggressive animals. Okay. And new resource, leather. Oh, we got the leather. So the leather over here has finally dried out, has it? Okie dokie. We have 29 leather. Okay, that's very good as well. This is all going quite well. Uh, right, okay. So some stuff rotted away. That's probably fine. We've got meat printing. We can now do meat printing. Okay, the wind turbine has... It's still malfunctioning. Um, what time is it? 10 o'clock. Uh, everyone's in bed. I think the batteries. The batteries all look okay. So I think that should be fine. We'll repair that in the morning, possibly. Is that... That's some manure. Do you know what? Use the manure if you want to. It's fine. Uh, okay, so research we're going to sort out. We're going to get attacked in a moment. And leather is okay. Right. Okay, before we get attacked, what should we go and research? Let's have a little look, shall we? Um, oh, leather armour. We can now get leather armour. That could be quite good. Flak cannons. Okay. That could be quite good. Automated turrets are well suited for engaging both small and large, relatively slow moving ground targets. However, they are not effective against airborne enemies. To address this gap, we require a rapidly rotating cannon capable of inflicting substantial damage to aerial targets. This is what lots of people have told me about. Lots of people have said at some point we're going to get attacked by flying things and it's going to be trickier to deal with them because, of course, they can fly, they're in the sky. So that could be really good. That could be good. Three days, they do take 30 power and also 50 of our alloys and one of our CPU core things. But that's okay. I think we get that done. 
Let's get flak cannons researched. Oh, and then also, so there's been a game update. They've released a new DLC. I can't quite recall what its full name is, but it sort of introduces proper like robots, like automaton robot type things. Um, but the, there was also a free update. So there's an update to the game and the DLC. I haven't got the DLC, but I have got the game update and it's introduced a few exciting bits and bobs. And one thing is delivery drones. So we can now get little delivery drones kind of flying about the place, moving things around, which could be quite useful. That would be quite handy, I think. The only thing is, do they work indoors? Do they work inside? Because we're going to have all our kind of storage stuff indoors soon. So really, it might be moving stuff from the farm into the storage area indoors. And then also maybe if we go and get some, you know, and a stone from over there or whatever, it'll be hauling that over too. So maybe we do get them researched as well. That could be quite fun. That could be quite fun. So do you know what? Queue up delivery drones. Anything else you want to throw into the mix there? Anything else that's quick? Anything else that's really, really quick? Um, I can't say anything that's overly speedy. I mean, 12 hours for brick rooms. I like our little kind of log cabin type thing. I think it's quite charming. I do like it. Um, camp management, that's only six hours. We could get that. Is there anything else that might be handy? If we unlock this hay cloth breakthrough research, that means that we can make cloth out of hay and there's loads of hay around. There's loads of grass. We've got loads of hay down here already stored away, I think. So if we do that, that means maybe we don't have to grow the cotton plant thing because we can just make cloth out of hay. And that'll free up some space where we can grow food or other useful things. Maybe we get that done as well. And I think a few people have said that the breakthrough sort of research things here are different every playthrough. There's kind of a random list of things each time you play. So, yeah, maybe people haven't seen that before. So we'll grab that as well, I think. That could be quite fun. So we'll get those three. So, yeah, things to shoot at aerial baddies. Little drones to move stuff about the place. And then over here, we've got some hay cloth. So we can eventually do away with these sort of, I don't know, the, what are they called? Cotton, uh, what is it? Cloth blossom, that's it. Do away with the cloth blossom field over here. And then we can replace it with something else, which would be handy. Okie doke. Right. That's that all sorted out. Oh, yeah, the other thing they've added in the recent update to the game is multi-story buildings. So we couldn't do that previously, but now we can. And look, there's a little thing up here showing us different floors. So we can see a ground level and an upper level, which is quite exciting. I think it's only two levels. I don't know if you can keep building higher and higher. Maybe if we build another level, that'll then give us an option to go up the floor when there is another floor to look at. I'm not quite sure, but I think it might be worth doing that. I don't quite know what we'd use it for. I'm not quite sure what we'd use it for. Possibly... Possibly we could have just a floor at the top there, just a big open floor with windows across the side and then, or maybe just some stairs going up to the top. If we could just make it flat somehow and then we could use that as a shooting gallery for aerial things and stick some flak cannons onto the top, that might be quite handy. And then have a little kind of defensive bit over here as well in case the baddies attack over here. That might be quite useful. That could be quite good. Okay, right, hang on then. So I'm getting ahead of ourselves there. But yeah, you can now have multiple floors. I assume there are now stairs in here somewhere. Um, oh, balconies. Balconies, okay. And yeah, we've got full sort of rooms going on now. Like you can build a proper room. Um, okay, however, however, yeah, balconies. A little balcony. Ceilings. Okay, hang on. Hang on, what do we do with that? Provides flat sheltered space usable as a foundation for constructing rooms at ground level as well as additional upper floors and balconies. So can we pop up here? How would we build on here? How would we build on this bit? Or can we not do that now because we've already got the roof on there? So would we have to take the roof off somehow and then replace it with ceiling? Uh, let's say just, yeah, wooden plank ceiling. Oh, yeah, I think you'd have to build it like that and then you'd have to get some stairs going up. So maybe that bit is too much of a bother to add things to. Maybe we're not going to do that, but we could do it over here, couldn't we? We could, in this new bit here, have ourselves maybe a raised bit and we could go up onto this level. Maybe it could just be another storeroom. Oh, that could be quite good. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll do that. We can have like a multi-level storeroom thing and store not so commonly used things on the top floor and then frequently use things on this bottom level. That'd be quite good. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Or we're going to try and do that. It might go horribly, horribly wrong and I'm fully expecting it to, but we'll give it a good go. Uh, right, hang on. So 
aggressive animals. We're going to get attacked by things. So a Juno, so a big terrifying thing with a big spike on its head, and 11 hatchlings, and one overgrown scarabay. Okay, right. So where are they? They're over there. Whereabouts is that in relation to us? Uh, they're not that far away. Is there any local wildlife around here that could possibly attack them for us? They're all having a nap right now. All having a little sleep. Okay. I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay. Now, somebody in the comments did say that we should try to push the um, the motion sensor thing back a little bit. Because when, they, uh, when we got attacked last time, I think the motion sensor only really sort of kicked into life. Not push it back, push it forward. Um, it only kicked into life when they sort of, when the baddies got to about here. So there is a little bit of a lag between when the baddies walk into the motion sensor range and then when it springs into life. So we could do with moving it a little bit. The only thing is, I'm not quite sure where we can move it to. If we did pick that up and move it, um, yeah, that's not, if we put it there, look, we haven't really got an ideal place for it to go. It kind of needs to go in the middle over here, look. It kind of really, it needs to go here, out the front, which isn't very good. Um, unless, could we just build, we can't do it now, I don't think, because we don't have time. Could we just build a little sort of raised block just there, and then stick that onto there, and then that'll still work? And the baddies... We'll have to kind of filter around that. That'll funnel them into a tighter space. It might slow them down. And then that thing as well can shoot them a bit earlier. Because, yeah, if we put that there, look, the range of detection is pushed out a great deal. It's pushed out more. So it should switch on earlier, which means we get... The guns will switch on earlier, sorry. Which means we get more shots at the baddies. I think maybe that's what we do. Put it on a little thing over there. That could be quite good. We won't do that right now. Let's get time ticking on because... Um, oh, hang on a minute. I was going to say, no, no, right, no time ticking on. What have we found at the crash site? What's happening? I recognise the shape of a cruise ship, or at least what's left of it after the monster's crash. I'll make note of location for future visits. There will surely be things to scavenge once it cools down. Okay. Don't waste time. Look for survivors. Pose some risks or come back for now. Okay. Why do ships keep crashing onto this planet? What's going on there? Is there something in the sky that's knocking them down? Some sort of space phenomena that's making them crash? Because we crashed, and there's other crash ships as well. Things keep dropping onto the planet. It's a bit dangerous up there in space at the minute. So what do we do now with Nova? Do we just bring her back home for now and play it safe? Or do we try to look for survivors? Because by the time we've come back and then had a bit of a sit down, had a rest, had some food, and then refueled the balloon and gone back out, the survivors might have died. They might have succumbed to their injuries. However, it is a risky approach for Nova. But we could get another survivor. And another survivor would not be a bad thing. It'll require a little bit of rejigging of the base, but that's okay. We can cope with that. Do you know what? Don't waste time. Look for survivors. But please do it carefully, Nova. Please be careful. Oh dear. My lungs soon filled with smoke as I was making my way around the crash looking for survivors. I covered my nose and mouth as best I could and kept looking for the longest time, but I didn't find anyone. I'll be heading back now. Okay, so I assume... If we'd have given her some sort of, I don't know, like breathing mask or something, maybe she could have looked for longer and found some people. But okay, never mind, never mind, that's fine. Oh, and she's a bit injured. She's now a little bit injured. Okay, hang on a second, what have you got? Um, smoke inhalation, which is causing her a little bit of pain. Okay, maybe by the time you're back home that'll all be fine. Maybe it'll be sorted out. Okay, what we'll do is then tick time on until the attack begins. No point sort of yeah, doing anything else until the attack starts. And then we'll see if the turrets jump into life and help us out of here. And then, of course, we'll have all our people around here as well. I mean, if you lot hanging around, you might also join in the fight. Our good old flathead friends there might join in the battle if they're still around here when the baddies attack. We will see in a moment, I suppose. Okay, the attack is underway and one of our ceiling lamps has malfunctioned. Oh, dearie me. Okay, right, everybody... I do apologise, but you... Oh, Annette's still asleep. Oh, and Yoko. I'm really sorry, but we have to draft you. Up you get, everybody. Sorry. Uh, okay. So we'll put you there, and we'll put Talas there, and we'll put Yoko there, and we'll put Vanessa there, and then Annette, you can stand around here and be the last defence, which probably isn't great, but never mind. Right, so move time on. Yeah, look, they are coming. They are making their way here, and I think they are going to disturb these. 
they are going to disturb these. So maybe we are going to get some help. Maybe these guys are going to help us. Okay, so we're climbing into our towers, which is brilliant. And I think, yeah, we can see over there. Look, hello. Well, that's quite a good angle. That's dramatic. Um, okay, the turrets, the turrets are fine. Look, these things are woken up. They've woken up damaged wooden fortification. It's attacking the... You're not supposed to be attacking the hole over here. No, 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 that's not right. You're supposed to go through the hole. Everyone in the... Oh, dear. Commenting people. What's happened here? Everyone in the comments said they go for the gap in the fence. But no, look. They're not. They're attacking this over here. Oh, dear. Okay. That is a bit of an issue, isn't it? That's a bit of a design flaw right there. Okay, it's given up attacking the wall. And it's coming round this way. The turrets are active. One of the things got into there. But we're okay. We're okay, look. And yet, yeah, we're still doing some good shooting. Uh, Flathead friendly just running around in a panic. Join in. This one's just asleep. <laughs> All these turrets and things going ba 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 ba. But no, no, it's fine. They're not bothered. I think that one is going to be dead. I think that's it. I think that's been dealt with. There we go. The turrets go back to their sort of switched off power down state. Okay. Good job, everybody. Good job. That was pretty impressive. And now we can pick up a load of insect meat, which is brilliant. So hang on. So do that. So butcher them. And we'll butcher that thing. And... Scissor hand hatchlings, yeah, butcher those as well. Where was the scarab? Ah, there, that one, the big scarab. Butcher that as well, because that's more meat. That's more meat. That can go into the dog trough thing. That's really good. Um, okay, the Great Dane there. We need ten food to go and tame that one. Um, have we got that now? We haven't got any more dried meat. Botherations. Oh, that's a bit of a shame because I think oh we put it into the food trough, didn't we? I think. Hang on. It's there. Can we take that out of there for now? For now, can we just say no dried meat in there, put it back into storage, and then we can use that. Hang on, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. No dried meat in here, please. Talas, uh, you're on that. Go and sort that out, please. Store undesired items. I'm not quite sure what that means. I imagine you're going to take it out. Yeah, so take that out. Put that away somewhere. Um, I mean, it's going to go in the fridge, in the freezer. It doesn't need to because it's dried meat. You know what? We might as well store it on the shelf. I think we need another shelf as well in the middle here, possibly. That might be quite good. But um, for now, uh, yes, if we have... Where would it be? Cooked... It's not cooked meals, is it, really? It's not It's not raw food either, I suppose. Yeah, dried meat is. Raw... It's not really raw because it's going to be dried and cured. But okay, that's absolutely fine. So yeah, put it there and then don't store it in there because it's pointless. So um, yeah, because I imagine it must last a long time. It's got to last a while. Hang on, how long does it last? Let's go and check, shall we? Um, under roof, one year. It's going to get used in a year. Let's be honest. Right, okay. So Monroe's eating some insect meat. We're going to have a load more of that when we get all that stuff sorted. That's going to be good. And then yes, we do need to go and tame the Great Dane pretty soon, because I think, I think, did somebody say in the comments, they only hang around in the, kind of the drier seasons, I think somebody said that when it gets to the rainy season, the dogs go away, oh, and it's out there training the Great Dane, okay, the, uh, taming the Great Dane, that's good, that's good, uh, oh, hang on, one of our batteries has malfunctioned, oh, dearie me, right, would anybody like to be a repair person, Nova's come back though, hi, Nova, um, okay, we've got plenty of things to do, one of the batteries has possibly exploded a bit. It's that one, isn't it? That has malfunctioned. Oh, yeah, it's got sparks coming out of it. Can somebody go and fix that, please? Yoko is doing stuff. Talas is transporting a hat. Very important. Very important things. Um, but yeah, we are training. This is more important. We're trying to tame the Great Dane. And it worked. It worked. I didn't see it, but this is brilliant. Okay, there is our second pet. Oh, this is wonderful. I mean, again, body size small. It's a Great Dane. They're gigantic. What if it was Yorkshire Terrier? How would the body size be represented then? Teeny tiny. Um, okay. So, they're now going to come with us. And can we see where you're going? You are immediately going to come in here. I oh, and get some food, which does make sense. Uh, so, Monroe has got that bed. So, 
you can go to Great Dane. Ah, yes, but of course, we need to rename you. Um, and I did have a name in mind. I was just going to call this uh, this dog here our classic geek of a dog name of Wuffles McBarkington the... And then just pick a number. Just pick a starting number. Wuffles McBarkington the 7th or something. But somebody in the comments on the last video did say, oh, if you're looking for dog names... I've got one you can have. So let's go for that name show because you know, it's been suggested by you lovely people out there. So please welcome Buddy to the crew, everybody. Hello, Buddy. Welcome aboard. So yeah, somebody put Buddy forward as their name. I think they said it was their dog who passed away about a year or so ago. So there we go, Buddy. In your memory, you are now here in this game and we shall do our best to make sure you're well fed and you join in and get trained up and it shall be wonderful and you're a very welcome addition to the team. So there we go, Buddy. Come and have a little look around that. That's all very exciting. Um, how are we doing for food? Not got a lot of cooked food. We haven't got a lot of cooked food. Um, Yoko should have... Hang on. Go on to activities. Yoko's only... Oh, hang on. Maybe Yoko should only have cooking at number one and everything else at two, possibly. Like that. Which means Yoko is going to pretty much cook when it needs doing. Okay, that's going to be good. Uh, we've not... Ah, we've run out of stone. That would be a bit of an issue. That's why we're not gathering any stone. Because we, we've not got any stones for it. Because we're not gathering any. Um, how about over here, look. Grab some stone from over there. Rock chunk. Mine that. Rock. Mine that. Thank you so much. Okay, so that should give us a stone to finish our base. Which is going to be good. So our little kind of uh, floor bit over here. That's going to be handy. And then we can build our kind of storage room. And our workroom over here. So we're going to have a workroom with the research table in and the sort of other things over here. So the barrels over here and the crafting table and the tailing bench and all that kind of stuff. That thing can go inside as well. So all those things can go into here. And this bit is going to be a big storeroom, which is going to be exciting. Uh, while we're thinking about it, we are going to have a door here. Also, we could... Oh, hang on. Fallen spaceship debris. Whereabouts? There isn't any there yet, game. Oh, it's really far away. All the spaceship bits are over here. <laughs> okay, hang on a minute. Incoming. Everybody move out of the way. Flathead friend, move out of the way. You're going to get squished. Um, Has it come down yet? Has it crashed? Uh, it seems to be implying that it's going to crash around here somewhere. But it hasn't crashed yet. Maybe it's just that bit. Maybe it means that bit because it's on fire. Okay. Whatever the case. Okay, so there's another bit of spaceship over there. We are... I don't know where we are. Where are we? We're down here. It's not It's not that far away. It's a bit of a walk. It's a bit of a walk, but it's not too distant, I suppose. Right, okay, let's get this done. Get this floor bit done. So, yeah, have a storage bit over here. But, yes, we really do want a kind of a door over here, I'd say, to get out from this side. So we can always walk around the edge, that's fine. But let's say we need to get to here really quick. A door here would be quite useful rather than having to walk around the entire building. So possibly over here we get a little kind of stairway type thing. Just give some wooden st oh no, stone steps will do actually. Um, and then put that uh, blocking objects. Ah, okay. We might need to do what we've done before with this and have kind of two bits going out either side. Hang on a second. Hang on. We can work that. We can do this. It's going to be fine. So stone to there, but then raise it up a bit like that. Just one bit will do, I think, won't it? Just one bit like that. And then we can have the stairs going down either side, which I think will work quite well. So rotate, rotate. So a bit like that. And bother, I didn't shift click to build multiple. And then another one going that way. Okay, there we go. That seems pretty good. We are 43 bits of stone down. That's going to go up a bit more, I imagine, because that's made of stone as well. But there we go. There we go. So plenty for people to do. But how are the dogs? There's Monroe and there's Buddy. Hi, Monroe and Buddy. Oh, it feels better now we've got pets as well. We've got... Look at, look at what we do have. Look at what we've got here. We have a shelf over here stacked up with tea and also medicine stuff. But, yo, know, tea 
in proper like big teapots very impressive a little kind of indoor lounge bit we've got music we've got entertainment we've got comfortable seating over here a little kitchen freezers everybody's got a bedroom with windows there's a fancy chair in there we have air conditioning going on it's 22 degrees c in this bit here 23 in the bedrooms it's quite nice and comfortable compared to the outside we've got power going on we've got food over here we've got a gigantic big multicolor balloon a statue of a dog and soon we're going to have a great big bit over here where we can keep all of our things it's going very well i'm really really impressed with how things are going research is 32 percent of the way through on flak cannons so it is taking a while i think when we get the delivery drones in that's going to make a big difference i think that's going to be quite good so hopefully we can get those in sooner rather than later but okay there we go everybody's woken up a bit early today that's absolutely fine you go and do what you got to do nova i think is making electronics is that what you're doing i think it is yeah that's quite good so yeah we'll get up to two of those which is going to be quite handy because then of course we can make more useful electronic thingamajigs oh botherations right we have toxic ash falling down from the sky again which is a little bit of a nuisance so people inside are going to be fine but people outside are going to be a little bit troubled by that because of course they're breathing in toxic ash so let's have a little look what does it do to you it says over there actually prolonged exposure could cause blood poisoning Solar panels provide less power, plants grow slower, and farm plants lose health and harvest. Okay, so generally, it's quite bad. It's not a great thing at all. If you could all go inside, that would be wonderful. And like Vanessa over here, look. Vanessa's at the only research table we have, but it's outside, so she's got no real option but to breathe in the horrible kind of noxious, sort of, you know, toxic air that's coming down. Um, you can, I believe craft hang on a minute craft tools have we got them yet oh no hang on maybe it's a researchy thing i think i saw it in the research oh yeah there you go respirator masks but to make those we would need ore oh and we haven't actually found any ore yet or made any uh, we could do ore prospecting after that thing's done and get our two kind of your know, final breakthrough research things done let's do that let's just queue that up that might be a fun thing uh okay so apologies about the toxic ash at the minute it's not ideal, but you have to kind of grin and bear it, I'm afraid. However, it's looking pretty good over here. Look, we are moving 100 stone from over here to back to the base, which means we're going to finish our floor and steps off, which means then we can get building over here, which is going to be very good. That's going to be brilliant. Shortness of breath, moderate pain. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay, right. In a few hours, you'll go inside and go to bed. And hopefully by that point, the toxic ash will have all gone away and it'll all be fine. But uh, but yeah, hopefully you're going to be okay. Hopefully nobody's going to get blood poisoning because that might be a little bit trickier to treat. Oh, look at that. They've delivered the stone to the build locations. They just haven't done the building yet. So very soon, that bit will be complete. And then we need to work out exactly how we make a multi-level building. I'm not quite sure how we do that. So expect some faffing about and fiddling around and the use of the word botheration soon when we try to do that because it's not entirely clear how we do that. We are going to need some more wood. We are going to need more wood to do that as well. So how about we go... A few people did say... Why don't we cut down trees over here so we can see the baddies coming a little bit sooner? And you know what? That does make sense. I don't want to cut down our lovely kind of definitely not meat banana trees. But I think if we go and get those, what if we just cut down those ones? That, what is that? What's that? Oh, that was just us highlighting. So green tube plants. Oh, have we seen those before? I don't think we've seen those before. Somebody go and observe the green tube plants. Because they're a new thing that I don't think I've ever seen before. That's quite intriguing. Okay, so let's just go for there, look. This, this bunch of trees here. 22 tall palm trees. Cut them down. I do apologise, tall palm trees. I wish we could do it another way, but alas, we cannot. It looks very orangey in the sky, doesn't it? Okay, so a brand new day rolls around. Still got the toxic ash. And they're sending them outside. Sorry, everybody. But we do need to do some tree felling. And Vanessa's going to go and look at this. Because Vanessa is quite smart. I think, is Vanessa probably our smartest person, I would have thought? Intellect of eight. I mean, yeah, you're nearly, you're nearly capping out at ten there. You're almost a super genius, which is good. So you go and look at this. I do love how they literally just observe it. They just sort of, <laughs> just look at it, like hands on hips, hands on knees, doing head, shoulders, knees and toes there. Just, just looking at a thing. 
not sort of taking samples or you know poking it prodding it cutting it seeing what it does just looking at it literally you know meeting the brief there of observing it just staring at it until knowledge happens okay fine you stare at that until knowledge happens that's good i think we've got yeah quite a bit of wood and they can bring that in a bit quicker because they're a bit nearer than over there which is handy if the toxic ash could go away that would be fantastic that would be very good, but um, I don't think it's going to. Ember's bringing 150 wood. Crikeys! You've got very, very big pockets, Ember. And we've discovered a mulch tube. Okay, I like the name. I like the name mulch tube. I found this tube-looking plant that had a sweet aroma when I approached it. The source of the smell looks to be the fruits that are on top of it. It appears to be producing sweet syrup. Okay, that's quite good. We like sweet syrup. And last time we did see a few people snacking directly on the sweet syrup because we've got no other food. And I did kind of remark on that and I thought, well, that's not going to be very good. But lots of people in the comments did say, that's absolutely fine. They like eating the sweet syrup. Not every time, of course. I mean, a diet of just sweet syrup is not going to be good at all. But just as a bit of a treat, as a bit of a snack, they do like it on occasion. So it's not so bad. So if we could get some of that, that would be useful. The strange thing about this plant is that it seems to change the soil around itself. Upon further observation, it looks like it absorbs part of the syrup from its fruits, which is processed inside the plant and secreted into the soil, probably nourishing the growth of specific bacteria. This process improves the quality of the soil where this plant grows, so I named it Mulch Tube. Oh, so if we have a bit around the farm where the soil is not very good, if it's poor quality soil, we can put a crop of these down and then you know, get them grown, and that's fine, get some sweet syrup, and then get rid of them, kind of you know, chop them down, remove them in their entirety, pull them up or whatever, but by that point, the soil will be of a higher quality because they will have put that syrup stuff down into the soil, and it makes it better. Oh, that's quite good. That's quite good. Okay, so we can harvest the syrup, and we can plant mulch tubes. Okay, that's really good. That is very good indeed, okie doke. And oh, this bit's done. This bit is done. Okay, this is very exciting. I'm really excited about this. So, we are now able to build ourselves some rooms over here. So, we're going to have a kind of a storage room over here. That's going to be a storage area. And then we're going to have a workroom over here. So, full of, you know, workbenches and, I don't know, this thing and the press. And I don't know if we could put the furnace inside. That might not be great because, you know, it does kick out some fumes. So, maybe that can just sort of stay outside possibly um we'll put it maybe over here so it's near to the stuff or this side possibly move it around here um and then yes yeah, so that can be workroom that can be storage and then we're going to have another floor where we can store some more stuff because yeah we do gather quite a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff over here so just another floor just in case however how do we do that how do we now do that so a room is what we want with that so a yeah wooden plank room is okay but we don't really want the roof. It says there are four walls, floor and roof, the main elements of a room. Yeah, I get that, but we want to build on top of it. So how do we do that exactly? So would we now have to build the walls individually? Is that what we have to do? And then put a ceiling down. So yeah, it provides flat, sheltered space, usable as a foundation for constructing rooms at ground level, as well as additional upper floors and balconies. Resources decay slower when stored under a ceiling or roof. Um, I'm not quite sure. So do we have to build... Do we have to sort of build... No, because that's... That's a roof like that. Is, that. is that what we want? Is that okay? A wooden plank ceiling. I mean, that's kind of what we want. We want walls around the edge. And then a wooden plank ceiling on top. And then some stairs. I need to kind of work out how the stairs are going to operate. Maybe we are going to keep that door there. We're going to keep that door there. I don't think... This bit can be nice and air-conditioned. Um, or do we just take that out? The storage thing doesn't need to be cool, I don't think. I don't think we need to keep the storage bit cool. Although, if it was all open, would that be okay? We could switch on the other air conditioner. That one's off, I think, isn't it? So, if it does struggle to keep the temperature down with one, because of the volume of space it's trying to cool down, we could always switch the other one on. That wouldn't be so bad. Um, okay, how does this work then? So, stairs... How do we do this? So wooden plank stairs will do the job. Hay stairs. <laughs> that can't be good. That can't be a good thing. Um, the metal stairs are the better stairs. They've got higher integrity. Um, but we have got plenty of wood. And we haven't got that much. Is that alloys as well? It's only five alloys though. 
Uh, oh, cr okay. <laughs> right, we, we can build roller coasters now, everybody. Yeah, there we go. We can build some gigantic stairs going on. Um, okay, I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. I don't know how this is going to function now. Um, we need to build a roof bit here and then walls around the edge. And then we need to build a room on top of the roof bit. We need a hole in the roof bit for some stairs to go in. Right, let's give this a go, shall we? First of all, first of all, walls. We know we need walls. That's nice and simple. Here we go. We can do this fairly easily. So like that. Uh, hang on a minute. Rotate it round. There we go. Like that. So that's that bit. And then it's going to come across here to there, which is good. And then it can come across there to there. Okay, and we don't need any more. That's fine. So build that. Yay for walls. Then we're going to need doors because that's going to be useful as well. So we shall get some lovely wooden doors. Put one just there. Didn't shift click to get another one. Never mind. So another wooden door just there. So that goes out onto those steps there, which is good. We possibly do need... Actually, hang on. That's only one person going in and out of that in and out of that door at that one time. That might not be overly brilliant. That might make life a little bit trickier, getting in and out of that door. But is that the end of the world? That is how people are going to get in from this side, though. That is how people are going to get in. Okay, we might need to rejig that. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Cancel that. We might need to dismantle those stairs temporarily. So deconstruct those stairs. And that battery might need to move to here. So if we could just pick up the battery and move it to there, that would be grand. Um, we need them out of the way. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. We'll deal with that in a moment. We've got a way in over here for now. That will do. The two dogs are now going to be very confused because blue stuff's appeared around them. Right, so we've got that. And now we go to ceiling because, yes, additional upper floors and balconies. So now we need to have a wooden plank ceiling like that okay so fill that in like that so now it's showing us we have a wooden plank ceiling but of course we can't go up anywhere now so now we have to figure out i think what's going to happen is this is going to be the workroom so there's going to be a gap like a line down here so here's going to be where we do all our stuff our work and here's going to be storage and then upper floor is going to be just loads more storage as well because why not eh? we might as well so i think then get another wall just to separate the storage bit away just to you know, sort of compartmentalize it a little bit so get that going across like that and we're going to spend more time in this side so we'll rotate it round so like that i think um i mean yeah do we want to have the storage? do we want it all open do we want it open so yeah eventually replace that door with like an archway thing maybe that's what we do and then we'll have a couple of archways leading into here. So let's see if we can find those. Yeah, doorways. There we go. A double doorway that I just see. Ooh, fancy. Um, okay, yeah, just wood. Just, the whole building is made of wood. It's fine. So if we have one, just one in the middle, possibly. Just a big double doorway right there to get into the storage bit. That's going to be handy. So that's going to be open as well. So have a, maybe a double doorway there could be quite nice. Um, oh, I've not put that in line with there. Oh no, that no, that's that's annoying. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's that, no, that, uh, no. Uh, this is all wrong. How do we select all this wall stuff? That's the stone floor. Okay, hang on. No, that wall isn't in line at all. I've I've made a bit of a boo boo of that. Hang on a minute. Let me go and undo the construction of this wall. Um, because yeah, I've put it in the wrong place. Hang on. Right there we go. Put the wall in in its proper location. There we go. That's much better. And then a double doorway right in the middle, because that makes sense. About there will do. I suppose that could be a double doorway if we wanted it to be. That could be one also. We could potentially pick up one of the air conditioners and put it down here. That wouldn't be so bad. We could pop one over here. So one working at that end, one working at this end to just better cover the space. That might work out quite well too. So now we've got a big kind of work area here with loads of benches and, you know, pro processing things and all that kind of stuff over here. And then in here we have shelves, lots and lots of shelves going on in here. Um, what well, some windows, but now how do we go upwards? This is now going to be the question. How do we do this? So stairs, make some metal stairs. I mean, the whole thing's made of wood though, isn't it? 
they're not going to fall apart. Do you know what? No, we'll keep the stuff for now. So if we then said, okay, so if we put the stairs, uh, okay, hang on. I want it, oh, it's not going to work quite like that. So if we put them just there, so put some stairs like that, and then it's made a platform up here. Look, hang on. So if we go up a floor, then I think, do we have to take down... Oh, I don't quite know how this is going to work. There's a bit of wooden plank ceiling there. That's wooden plank stairs because it comes with the top bit. We might have to see how that pans out. And then up here, we just put another huge big wooden room just full of storage stuff. We can just put loads of things up there. We can just gather much in the way of resources, chuck it up there, and then we never have to leave the base again. Just you know, pile up loads of wood over here, pile up stone, pile up everything else, chuck it all up here, and it'll all be fine. I think that's what we want to do. And then, of course, we want some windows because it's going to be a bit dark and miserable in there. So how about we get some lovely windows going on? Um, yeah, just some windows. Got metal windows elsewhere. Let's have some more metal windows going on. Uh, we'll have one in that storage bit there. We'll have a couple on this side just to make it look nice. And then we'll have a couple here as well. Look, why not? One there and one there. We'll have one on this side just looking out. Maybe if just as you're going up the stairs, look, you can look out the window. I quite like that. There we go. So that'll do for now. And then I suspect what we might need to do as well, we could do is possibly bringing some power around here so we can plug things in. So, let yeah, this is going to be a big project. This is a huge, big thing. But if we get that, where's that connected to? I find it a bit weird it's got to go through... I, find it a bit weird. If we do that, look, and then we put a roof, like a building on the top, it's not going to work properly, is it? How do the cables connect through structure? So I kind of feel like if we're doing it properly, we should have one there. Again, that's lots of alloys. Sorry, everybody, but it's for a good purpose. It's for a good reason. And then another one, I think in the middle here, look, does that connect that one? Not quite. So it's got to be there. So it connects to the other one. There we go. So put one of those there and then we kind of have a loop. We've got like a grid going all the way around. So they're all connected. It connects around our main building and then we've got that there. Okay. Okay. Right. Th this could be terrible. It could be an awful thing. It might not work. It might be dismal. I'm not sure. But let's get it done, shall we? So, okay. We've got walls and doors and windows and everything else. It's going to be wonderful. But we do need somebody to take this out. If we could just remove that, that would be handy. So deconstruct the stairs. Thank you very much. I realise that that possibly should go here, round the corner, because we can have stairs coming around this way. Um, let's see what we can do. Hang on. So now we want to get some stairs in. So the stairs, stone stairs. Uh, right. Hang on. Hang on. How, how is this going to function? No, not like that. Blocking objects. And that's now gone a bit bonkers. Okay, no, not to there. No, okay. So what we might need to do is we might need to have a bit. We could tuck some things around the edge of these stairs. It's going to be a bit like this, I think. It's going to be a little bit like that. So have some bits coming out, um, but it's going to come out further from the wall, I think. Uh, how about then? Where are we? So floor and stone. So if we had a bit like that, and yeah, that'll be okay. And then bring it out like that and then raise it up, which is that, is it right? So put that there, that's okay. And then we might need to move the dog statue possibly. If we could just, you know, pick up that entire dog statue and move it around, that'd be grand. And then we have, I don't know, multiple steps going up here. We could have three steps going up to the door just there. That'd be okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That'll do the job fine. It's a bit overkill, but it will do. It's going to be fine. So hang on a minute. Get a door just so we can remember to put the door in because otherwise I won't. There we go. Okay. Huge big building project, folks. Gigantic building project. Just what you want when you're all short of breath on account of the toxic ash falling down and filling your lungs with terrible, terrible poisons. I do apologise. Not the best time to give you a gigantic building project. But do you know what? I believe in you. You're all going to do it and it's going to be fine. Apart from the fact that most of you are injured. Okay. Uh, possibly a bit of a problem. A shooting star. Okay. Another thing has fallen down. That's fine. Right. Come down a level. What's ever... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. I think 
Most people are in here. Um, yes, look, everybody's inside. You're away from the toxic ash, which is important. Talas, playing the didgeridoo. Ember, playing the handpan. Vanessa, punching a pole. Nova's just standing around. Annette's been bored. Oh no, Annette is boring Vanessa by babbling about pliers. <laughs> Do you know what? I want to, I want in on that conversation. I want to hear Annette babbling about pliers. I mean, how much can you babble about pliers? Annette clearly can babble about pliers a great deal. I want to hear the great plier babblage, please. Um, okay, where even is Vanessa? Oh, she's punching a pole over there. Uh, and then we've got Yoko here, who's petting Monroe. They're all inside. They're all listening to the music and having fun. This is brilliant. Are you going to sit down? No, you're going to wander out into the toxic air. Okay, that's a bit silly, but never mind. You're going to appreciate the dog statue, which has been moved. Oh, crikey, you did that very quickly. Okay, that's good. So they've moved that. They're going to build the stairs here first, apparently. Uh, right, let's move time. Ah, no breach physical seven, which is good. And also the toxic fallout has gone. Look, so it's nice and easy to go outside and breathe again, which is wonderful. Uh, we do need to get the stairs set up here now. So hang on a minute. Get some stairs, stone steps, please. One and two and three. Like a kind of a fancy entryway into this side. I quite like that. Right, there we go. The grand building project has been outlined. Annette is training Munro, which is good. We are going to get attacked by some more animals. Um, what have we got? Uh, 14 hatchlings and two explosive scarabay. I think we can cope with that. They are over here at the minute. They are over that side. Hopefully they'll come around this side. Because that would be a bit of a nuisance. But, right, okay. Everybody is now awake. Everyone's doing their stuff. We shall wait for the inevitable attack to happen. And then, of course, we'll run back over here and try and do some defending and shooting, that kind of stuff. But I think we're going to be okay. 14 hatchlings and two explodey scarabay. I think we can deal with that, he says, possibly overconfidently. But we will see. Time will tell. Okay, the attack is underway. So I think let's draft everybody over here. Drafty, drafty, draft. We kind of need them to just report to positions. If we could just have a bit where it said, yeah, report to your positions, please. Because generally they go to the same sort of places. So hang on a minute. Vanessa can go there. Talas can go there. And then Yoko can stand down here with a net, just in case... They, um, they do breach the defences or whatever. I mean, really, we could put just a few more towers in and then everybody could have their own tower. Oh, look, somebody was carrying a massive armful of logs, but because we've drafted them, they've just dropped the logs over here, like just onto the floor. Careful as you come down the steps. <laughs> Going to end up with a bit of a sort of a comedy tumble as you roll down the steps on a log. Okay, right, so get time moving on a little bit quicker. They are coming this way. This is going to be really easy. And one of them's dead already. The Scarabay have been pretty much dealt with. The Scarabay are dead. Right, they're, the little ones are being shot at. The shooty guns haven't even been activated yet. I think they're going to kick into life soon. There we go, one shooty gun is done. Talas got to combat four. The shooty guns are now... No, they're powered down already. Look, it's just these guys over here picking them off. <laughs> they're having fun up there. It's like a shooting gallery. Bang, bang, bang. Hang on, the shooty guns might spring into life. Oh, yep, shooty guns are active. And I think... That is done. Okay, that was uh, not overly tricky. That was quite nice, game. Thank you for that one, game. That was quite that was quite generous of you. So I think uh, only four scissor hands hatchlings. Isn't that supposed to select them all? Um, I thought we had more. Oh, they're all over here. Hang on, are they all over here? Nine. Okay, butcher those. We've got the two explosive scarabay. So do that one. That is. That was a hatchling as well. Why hasn't it selected those ones? I'm not quite sure, but okay. And then butcher those as well. That's more meat. That is more insect meat. That's really good because we can use that to make loads of stew. We can use it to feed the dogs. That's completely wonderful. Okay, there we go. Another attack repelled and a low food supply. Don't you worry about a game. It's all going to be fine. I also did see, look over here, we are making umbrellas. I wonder how many of those we now have. Um, we've got four EM umbrellas. Oh, Yoko is disagreeing with Vanessa on the preparation of soup. I mean, Yoko is quite good at cooking. Yoko is pretty good at cooking. I don't know why you aren't cooking now, to be honest, Yoko. Your cooking priority is number one, and I assume we should be able to make some more food. We should be able to make, I don't know, meat soup and stuff. Why are you not doing any cooking? Why are we not cooking anything, Yoko? Come on, I appreciate you are crafting, and that's good. 
but food is potentially more important. Go and get cooking, please. Um, condemned Yoko's medical practices. From Vanessa, that's probably fair. She is the doctor. She knows what she's doing. That's probably, that's probably fair. I think that's okay. Um, right, how are we looking over here? We are going to lose a hundred, hundred, oh, it's the, it's in the animal trough thing. That's okay. That's fine. Is there a limit that we can do here? Uh, one slot per accepted item. I mean, yeah, do we have to put 100 in? Can we not put, you know, 50 in? Can we not lessen the amount that we store in each one? I don't think we can. Never mind. We've got loads of insect meat coming in from all of these things. So absolutely loads of them from over here. So it's all going to be fine. Um, the only door is over there. Do we put another door in over here? Like a little access gate type thing. That might be quite a good idea as well. A fence door of poles. Just pop it in there, look. Just because then it gives us a bit of an easier way into the base if we need to do that. Um, okay, there we go. Just a quick check on the dogs. Are you both fed? You're both relatively happy. You slept in a bed. You're in good health. You're under a roof. Oh, the dogs are living their best life. You've been tamed, petted, in good health. Yep, there we go. So Monroe and Buddy just having a lovely time. Having a lovely time, better than being out here on their own. They're now, you know, with friends and family. They've got a new family now and a new home to live in. And it's all quite wonderful. Pregnant animal. Okay, hang on a minute. What's going on there? The following animals got pregnant. A Great Dane. Oh. Oh, I hadn't taken that into account. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Munro. Munro is a male dog. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then Buddy is a female. A female dog. Right. Okay, so very soon we might have a little baby dog that might be a puppy. Oh my goodness me, this is fantastic. Okay, that's very good. If we could fill that hole in across the side of the base, that would be good. Also, if we could gather this stuff, can we get the meat, please? Uh, ah, good, you're doing some buttering. This is good because we can get loads of insect meat from this and then freeze it and that'll just stick around for ages. That's going to be good for all sorts of delicious kind of meat soups and stews and everything else. Look at that, 20, 30, there's going to be another bit from that. Yeah, there's going to be loads and loads of stuff. Right, how are we looking in terms of that roof bit? Okay, they've done some weird roof bits. They're making it slightly obscure, but okay, that's fine. So this room is coming together. It's going to be a bit dark in here for now. It's going to be a bit dark. We haven't got the lights in quite yet, but we'll sort that out in a bit. Um, but yeah, here we go, look. They're doing a grand job of this. They're absolutely flying through with it. It's very good. And then if we go up a floor, we can see, yeah, look, there's the gap with the stairs. And that's where they're going to go up. So they're going to be at the top of the stairs just there. And they can walk into the big storage thing up here. I think, is this working? Is this working? They're all over it. Look at them. Everyone's kind of flying in and getting this done. We do need to put some carpet down in there and such like, because they're complaining about it being a bit like a cave, which I suppose it is. It's a bit dark and grim in there with a the stone floor, but we will get that sorted in time. Um, yeah, look, if we just get that done now, if we get these windows in, constructing a double doorway. I'm a bit concerned about the hole in the, um, in the base. Little bit concerned that might leave us vulnerable if something does come to attack but look they're flying through this we're doing the floors we're doing the doors they've just decided to just do all the building work they're going do you know what we need to get this building work done we're going to get this done you're making the fence door probably the most important thing of all things there we go right so we're not vulnerable to attack anymore so the final thing is that door if, did they just finish all that they've just finished the entire I'm, I'm am amazed. My flabber is well and truly gasted. I am astonished that they've done that that quickly. That is remarkable. Okay, right. I'm really happy. That's a good thing. Um, okay, now let's make this a little bit less dismal over here. And then when that's done, we'll sort out the upstairs bit. But um, yeah, for now, let's just work on this bit over here and that bit there, just to make it a bit less kind of grim and dark. So I'm thinking over in our workroom, maybe we have wooden flooring. Let's get that. I don't know how you say that last word. Parquet? Parquet, possibly? I don't know. But some nice kind of wooden flooring. That might look quite good in there. And then in the little mini storage bit here, we could have, I don't know, go for the ceramic tiles again. That might be okay. Go for some tiles. Could be useful. We could have a door just here. Leading from the kitchen into here. Just to make life a bit easier for people. So if they are stood here. And they do need to pick something up from here. They can walk through a door. Rather than having to go all the way around here. And loop around. Do you know what? That might make sense. Let's put a door in as well. While we're here. While I remember. Um, or. 
do we have another opening and just keep it nice and open because then the air conditioning can work all the way around let's do that let's have some openings actually hang on so like a nice doorway type thing just a wooden one will do the job pop it right there that's going to be fine right so that'll open that up that's good we can get rid of that door now we can deconstruct that door which is going to be good so are people going to be okay with doing this well hang on so while they're all thinking about that we'll tick time on and we can look at the floor so yeah if we have wooden flooring in here that might look quite nice so there you go that looks kind of functional and worky we're one piece of wood down botherations okay and then over here what do we do so flooring over here uh ceramic tiles skin bar carpets in there we don't want that over in here because that's more for like yeah that's our kind of leisure room that's like a leisure kind of thing there um carpet no it's got to be something hard either stone pavement or ceramic tiles let's go for the tiles let's go for the tiles over here as well so yeah we should have tiles under there please that will be wonderful um okay so another project for you to work on we also do need to cut down a couple of extra trees um no not you you'll do cut that down for now and then also just grab some more just in case we need it um oh there is some wood over there but 13 palm trees cut those down too i assume somebody will go and pick up the wood at some point okie dokie right so let's get that bit done also we are going to need some lighting in here so let's get some ceiling lamps in um i think we might need four in this room by the look of it um we'll put one uh yeah if we put one like that and then one there and then just kind of put the others down here as well so that should be okay that should light that room up this i think might only need a couple so those at each end like that so that means a room can be well lit and also it's going to have carpet and flooring and everything else this is this is i'm surprised they've done it so quickly i'm amazed they've done that so quickly maybe there's not much else going on maybe yeah there wasn't much farming to do whatever so everybody chipped in on working with this which is really good how are the batteries looking we've got that's about half that's about half that's looking a little bit low but i think you know things will top up do we need to get another another wind turbine in how much do we have in terms of electronics two just another wind turbine might be quite useful just to, you know top the batteries up a little bit more because we're gonna have more stuff over here more lights and things staying on so possibly we should get another another sort of power generating thing yeah let's get that in shall we while we're here let's get um yeah another wind turbine just pop that one um i mean yeah do they have a front and a back i don't really think they do they just turn whichever way they need don't they so put that there and that could be oh, hang on hang on no they must have a slight no 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 d d get rid of that they obviously do have a slight way around because that did not look like it was in line with these hang on a minute hang on they do have a way round um rotate and rotate and rotate okay maybe they don't maybe i'm just making it up i'm going to put it there that looks a bit more forward you no know, it doesn't matter i'm not going to look it's all fine everything's all good okie dokie right run time on quickly let's get this done. oh they're doing the wooden floor already they, they must be so bored they must be so incredibly bored they're just they're going quickly we can do some stuff get the floor done get everything done right cave dweller it says not for much longer though ember not for much longer there's going to be flooring there's going to be lighting it's going to be magnificent it's going to be wonderful get all the, the, the lights in that's going to be good a heat wave outside temperatures are eight degrees higher than usual during this disaster crops grow more slowly and start losing health if the temperature becomes intolerable okay that is probably not overly helpful um okay maybe what's it like outside so 39 degrees c outdoors 22 inside um it's 26 in that bit there oh hang on need to open the doorway bit up now that's going to be a little bit of an issue double doorway please wooden double doorway pop it right there that's going to be lovely um yes do we now pick up that air conditioner and move it down here just have that kicking out the heat going that way that's going to be fine and then switch that on because yeah we are building more power generating things maybe we've got i've got two electronics has that accounted for the one that's going into there i'm not quite sure um, okay i'm not quite sure about that but let's get this done first so the dogs is kind of hanging around wondering what's going on this is I'm, I'm so pleased 
They've done this so quickly. Okay, that room is done. They've done that room already. Good grief, you lot. You lot are all fantastic. You're all arguing and chatting, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, hang on. We can't get to those. We can't do... Okay, do you know what? We're going to deconstruct the stairs. That's going to really irritate me if they're not done. Oh, there's a bit of stone under there. No, that they've got to go. Deconstruct those stairs, please. <laughs> Take them apart. Um. Oh, I think... You're a bit... Don't don't take apart the stairs from the top. <laughs> that that way madness lies. That way bad things are going to happen. Okay, right, hang on. We've got all oh, the Talas is repairing the battery. Good job, Talas. Good job. Very important. Um, Got one square just there that needs sorting now. So flooring, ceramic tiles. Boop. Like that, please. Um, Ember. If you could do that, resource is unavailable. Oh, of course. I've got to go and grab the stuff for it first. Um... Okay, the lamps in here are done. That room is complete, bar the archway thing. Annette got to farming six. That's really good as well. This is, this is wonderful. I'm expecting something really awful to happen. A great big meteor's landed right in the middle of your base and blown everything into pieces. That would not surprise me at all, but there we go. Um, so yeah, look, now this is the problem now, look. To store things, they have to go all the way over here, but soon they can just put stuff in here. If we could just... Get that floor tile bit done. Get that one bit done. Why does that look different? Stone floor. That looks different. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, oh, is it because there's light shining on it? It might be because there's light shining on it. Um, okay, inside it's it's 32 degrees C indoors. That thing is trying its best. Um, maybe we switch that one on. Maybe now we use some of our power... Just to try to make things a little bit cooler around here. Nova's just outside. 32 degrees C outside. Uh, oh, okay. I thought it was supposed to be a heat wave. Maybe at night time it's not quite as warm. Uh, right, let's just run Tom on to the next day. I want to get this bit kind of finished and the stairs back in. And then outline the upstairs bit, I think. Although, actually, hang on. Maybe for now we don't do the upstairs. Because surely there's a hole in the roof. So all that, yeah, we're air conditioning the outside of the minute. Hang on, pinch that, you buffoon. <laughs> That's never going to fly, is it? You silly man. Right, how about then we get wooden plank ceiling to fill in those two gaps there for now. Um, Yeah, that might be why, ooh, unpowered devices. Why has all the power gone off? Um, Oh, oh, okay, right. We're out of power, but Ember is working on it. Ember's got the wind turbine going on. This is fine. So hopefully, yeah, it's not very windy, look. It's because it's a heat wave. The wind turbines are slow. The solar panels aren't working quite as well. Okay, but now I think we are back online. All the lights are back on, which is good. Okay, the doorway is done. So if we just get this sorted, if we just sort this little bit out over here, so do some flooring and then do the roof bit. And I think, is that now done? <gasps> it's finished. Okay, yeah, don't put the bit on the top. So yeah, do that later. Don't put it on there now because then there's going to be a hole in the roof. So I think now if we just tick time on a little bit, what's the temperature like in here now with two air conditioners blasting away? 26 degrees C indoors. That is much better. I oh, will look at Annette. Annette and Monroe. Annette and Monroe are good buddies now. They get on loads, look. Um, Monroe is level five. Monroe is level five. Monroe can be drafted into combat. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay, that is quite good. Oh, I like that. And the rooms are done. But I'm 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 genuinely astonished. So now we can begin the great big process of moving all of the stuff from over here to over here. And then life's going to be a lot easier. Everything's just going to be nearby. It's just going to be brilliant. It's going to be really good. Let's move a few things now. Let's get a few things shuffled over. I mean, okay, the wooden workbench. Can we now build different workbenches? Can we build a better workbench? No. Okay, so we've still got the regular workbench, tailoring bench, soldering bench, and then all the other things. But yeah, they can all go inside now. I'm so excited. <laughs> right, let's move the chopping block. That can go inside. Um, I mean, yeah, really, we want to move all these things in. It's going to be a big old job, though. It's going to be a big old job, but I think for now, let's move the crafting things in, get all that in, 
and then we might have to wrap things up and then we'll spend the start of the next video sorting out all the kind of storage stuff that can go over here remember to leave that bit empty so we can put some stairs there so we can get up to the top floor if we need to i think that's what we do so what we could do what we could do is hang on if we are able to do it we could hang on nip up to here uh what if we had the room sort of in the middle like that and then just use that as like a shooting gallery so if there were flying things on the roof here on the corners we could have some of the uh have we got them did we unlock them the automated toys yeah flat cannons what if we sort of put them on the corners so if we put one there one there that's his work area blob but you know we'll put them say here look so one there one there one there and one there uh the range on them is the range on them is gigantic wow yeah so look that almost covers the entire base so if we put them around like that just before up here and then put the room in the middle and then we can walk around on this kind of balcony uh we might need a fence around the edge to possibly not fall off or something but that's okay i think we can put a little kind of fence around the edge just a little kind of wooden fence going across the edge that'd be quite good so i think that's what we do i think that's what we do so maybe our plan to put the stairs where they were isn't quite right they might need to go in the middle here but that that's by the by we'll come to that in a bit let's put all the crafting stuff over here then so the chopping block can go inside so pick that up and we'll just took that into the corner that can go into that corner that's fine okay so chopping block inside pick up the oil press this is going to be good so put that maybe put that not by the window because that's gonna yeah like that look so put that there so that can go over that side so that can then move indoors i don't think the furnace should go inside i think that sounds like a poor choice but we could put it over here or maybe even put it down here look we could have a couple of furnaces oh, i was going to build another furnace and i completely forgot never mind so how about we move that one to there and then we copy it and put another one there so a couple of furnaces so that's dealt with all that the drying rack i kind of feel has to go outside but i mean it's quite big it would look a bit ungainly on the inside so i think maybe if we move that there's a big bit of space here not doing anything look so if we put that there that'll just fill that gap in we could potentially slot a battery in across that side as well if we needed to so if we move that over look so all those outside things can kind of shuffle around a bit um the dog statue maybe maybe move the dog statue to over here look so when people come out that door they can see the dog statue that's quite nice and that kind of frees up that whole area there we might need to move the balloon somewhere possibly move the balloon down into the corner maybe but there we go right and then crafting stuff so we've got the tailoring bench let's pick that up and i mean where do we put it they can just kind of go in the middle they can just go in the middle they could go in the middle facing each other rather than have them all around the edges they could go in the middle look so we could have the tailoring bench say there and then we could get the crafting table so get the wooden workbench pick that up and rotate that around so it's like that so it's opposite there so if somebody could be tailoring somebody could be crafting they could have a nice little chat possibly we should have moved that a bit nearer and then we could fit another row of things down there hang on a minute no that that's i, I did that a bit wrong oh oh um okay it's left a mark on the floor somehow i'm not quite sure what that is i could clean that up somebody that's going to be strange right so uh, yeah try this again so pick that up rotate it around yeah there we go so one away from the edge so if we just put that there so we've got some nice light coming in from the window so they can see what they're doing they can thread their needles and such like and then grab that pick that up rotate that around put that there and then yeah we can have a bit through the middle and then another two benches could go here look one could go there one could go there and then we can have a gap down the middle where people can you know, walk around and such like right so that's that sorted that's good so they'll start moving those around so let's tick time on oh yeah we need these barrels as well so the fermentation barrels they can also come inside how about we put those in the corner just tuck them into that corner 
that might work. And then we could put some more along here if we need to. We could have... We can't have one there and there, though, because then we can't get to the corner one. Or do we just put them along here? Uh, it doesn't really make that much difference, I don't think. Could we put them along here, maybe? Just in a line? Um, we're going to have workbenches here. Some workbenches here. I don't know what other workbenches we have. At the moment, the only other one we need is the research table. But we might want some more things in. Um, how about, for now, we just put them in a line uh, across like that. So I have one there. And then come back and grab that one. And put that one next to it. And then grab the other one. Here we go. Pick that up. Move that one. Pop it next door to that one. And then we can have more along there if we need to. There we go. That one's the lids in a different way on that one. No, no, I can't have that. It's not pointing in the right way. <laughs> oh, here it is. It's slightly differently oriented. Okay, but hang on. Better sort that out. Um, rotate. Yeah, like that. Oh, that's better. Okay. And then over here. So we'll take time on a bit while I jibber jabber on about this bit. So everyone's going to get stuff to do. They're all going to be moving stuff around and shifting things over and whatever. Um, however... We do have, really, the only one thing that we need to move into there is the research desk. But that's the old wooden one. If we look at uh, this, we can now get an advanced research desk. It does require a little bit of power, but I think that should be okay. So I think, yeah, 20 power. So what if we just put that in over here somewhere? I mean, what if we put that there, look? Then we can have all the crafting tables and the research stuff near to everything. And then we've got room over here for other stuff. Um, yeah, we'll put it in like that. We haven't got enough alloys or whatever to do it yet, but that's okay. We shall work on that. How are we looking for power? Power is... Power is looking quite low. 126. Yeah, we haven't got much power. We haven't got much power at all. What's the temperature like inside? It's 31 degrees C indoors. 29 over there. Okay, maybe, maybe we do need to, yeah, is this too much space for it to be cool? Oh no, there is the heat wave, of course. Outside, outside it's 41. Okay, so maybe the air conditioners are working super hard. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got the soldering bench. I forgot about the soldering bench. Hang on, bring that indoors as well. Let's bring that indoors. So rotate that round. We'll put that Maybe put, hang on, that could go with the, that could be another block of things over here then, couldn't it? If we put that there, then we can have another thing here, and then another table across the top. Okay, there we go. Uh, right, run time on. I'm a little bit concerned that overnight all the power's going to switch off. Um, and I think, yeah, the solar panel's not working quite as well. Um, no, it's just crops. So why are we not generating a lot of power? We've got, yeah, the batteries have only got, 500 power. They're going to empty in... Oh, crikey. Yeah, four hours time. Oh dear. Okay. So maybe the additional air conditioner is proving to be a little bit of a drain. It's only 16 power. It took 240 power. Okay. So the lights are going to go off soon, folks. And of course, yeah, the heat wave means the wind turbines aren't doing very much. They're not generating much power, which is a bit of a nuisance. Um, okay. We're going to have a little bit of a disco going on with, yeah, here we go, the unpowered devices. It's all going to be a bit weird for a bit, but okay, we'll get through today, get through to tomorrow, and then we'll just see what's going on. But yeah, hopefully the heat wave will go soon enough, and then everything can just go back to normal, and it won't be quite so toasty. Okay, brand new day rolls around, people are keeping busy, that's all very good. How are we looking in terms of power? So currently... We're only generating an additional 42 power. That's not very good. I think we're not being helped by the heat wave. So it's all nice and still out there. So the wind turbines are really, really low. They're hardly doing anything at all, which is a bit of a nuisance. So we could do with the heat wave going away. <gasps> We've researched delivery drones. We've researched delivery drones. Okay, that's very exciting. Hang on, where are they? Where are they? Storage, delivery drone. Four electronics, two CPU cores, 50 alloys. We've got no alloys at all. We are slightly low on alloys. We've kind of run out of scrap metal. However, however, very soon, when we've moved all of our kind of storage stuff and everything else over into here, we will be able to dismantle these scrap metal shelters 
to get more scrap metal back. So hopefully soon we will get some more of that to make some more alloys. Um, and then, yeah, we might need to go scavenging somewhere. We might need to go scavenging slightly further afield. Because, yeah, we're running out of these scrap metal to turn into the alloys. Lots of people did say that was going to happen in the comments. And yes, it has happened. It has come to pass. So we might need to go over here, look, and do some scavenging. And, of course, we could do a sending Nova out as well in the balloon to also go and grab some stuff because we do bring that back as well. In fact, let's do that right now. Expedition. Where shall we go? Don't go to the Tachyon source. That's okay. Um, keep coming around that way. That could be useful. Spaceship debris. Where's then we already sort of plundered? Cruise ship or control module. Right. Go to the control module thing. So a high physical skill. Nova's got seven. Yeah. Nova, pop out to there. You're relatively happy. So I assume that you have had some food. Yeah. Okay. So pop out to there and see what you can find. So she's going to go out and do that. But I think for now, we wrap things up. I think... We have done exceptionally well this time around. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. Some slight power issues going on, which we will try to sort out next time. And I didn't get round to moving the motion sensor thing out to here, which I think will be something we do eventually. But I think the fact that we have a whole new additional bit built over here with the foundations and the walls and the windows and the archways and everything else, and the fact that we've got space now above here to build on top and put some aerial defences down, that's really good. I'm really happy with that. I think that's going to be very exciting when we get that all sorted. So I'm I'm so delighted. I'm amazed. They did this so quickly. They did it so very quickly. And they've moved all that other stuff as well. Look, all that's kind of been cleared out. It's all over here now, pushed into here and such like. So um, yeah, it's looking really good. So we'll finish up for now, come back next time. And then, yeah, we'll try to get some alloys, try to get some scrap metal to make some alloys, sort out the stuff over here. And then we'll just dismantle this bit. We'll move all the storage into our new kind of indoor storage bit to make life easier for everybody. And then dismantle this. And then we'll have to think about what we want to do with this big bit of space in the middle here. Do we build some sort of little kind of defense bunker type thing? Like a long strip over here where we can hide inside, put a few turrets at either end. Do we just use it for farming? I'm not quite sure. So we'll do something with that when we come back next time. But yeah, things are looking pretty good. Let's finish on a high and come back and see what happens. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Stranded Alien Dawn. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Move out of the way, friend. I'm going to completely ignore you and do some comment moderating. Kung Fu Croquet. Maria, you've broken my heart. There you go, some more flowers that I stored on the back of my pants. Lovely. There we go. As you can see, I'm having the wildest of times. Enormous banana masking. <laughs>